This video is brought to you by All Ball Pro, the ultimate sports rebounder. Be sure to head over to allballpro.com and don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off of your order. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com and today I wanted to make a video on how to remove the tongue or modify the tongue on a pair of Copa Mundials. A lot of you guys saw the modified pair that I've been wearing in a lot of my videos. Um, you can see that the big flap tongue on the Copa is removed and you wanted to, you guys were asking how I did that and wanted to know how exactly I did that. So today I'm going to make kind of like a how-to slash tutorial video on how you can modify your Copas. Because that's one of the main gripes with this shoe is that they love the feel of the leather in that um, but they're not a big fan of having this big flap tongue which is understandable. I definitely, um, it's not something that bothered me immensely but I would rather have it gone than on the shoe. So like I said, I'm going to show you how to do that today. One major thing to note before you get to modifying your shoes in any way, shape, or form is that modifying your shoes, whether it be cutting the tongue, grinding something down, or just modifying the shoe in any way that wouldn't occur naturally from you wearing the shoes, you are voiding your warranty. So if you do choose to do this particular mod on your shoes, um, you have no more warranty with Adidas and you have no more warranty with the store that you bought them from. So just keep that in mind before you go any further. Alright, there are three very easy steps to modifying your pair of Copas. Um, the first step being marking where you're going to be cutting the tongue itself. The second step being the stitching across the tongue. And the third step being cutting off the flap. So before you go doing anything as far as scissors are concerned, don't cut off the flap of your Copas. That's the very last step. It's going to be a lot easier for you if you just wait till the end to do that. Um, in front of me I have the modified pair. I'm going to show you what the final product should look like. And you can see that the flap has been cut off. Um, pretty much exactly where it would normally start. So you see that there's a little bit of an extra uh, bit of tongue after the last lace hole. You don't want it to be completely flush here, otherwise the tongue's not going to be long enough and it's just not going to feel right, um, which again I'll show you a little bit later. But that is the final product. You can see that there's uh, a stitch all the way across the top of the tongue and that is to um, allow for the tongue to stay stable. Nothing's going to come apart because there is two materials here and you want nothing to fray and that's what the stitching is going to allow for. It's just going to keep the tongue solid and make it seem like it is uh, meant to be like that. Okay, so here I have the um, unmodified pair of Adidas Mundial Team Turfs and this is a mod that you can do with any of the Copa models whether it be the turf model, the indoor model or the firm ground or soft ground. The tongue is identical on all four models so this is a pretty much a universal tutorial for you. Um, so if you have any of those four shoes like I said um, this is exactly what you need to do. The first thing that you want to do is remove the laces on the shoes. This is just going to allow you to um, remove the tongue from the shoe a little bit easier give you a little bit more work room um, and the laces are just going to get in the way to be completely honest. Um, if you guys look at the tongue here you can just kind of observe how it's actually made from the factory. You can see that's a single stitch all the way around the edges of the tongue and you can see that there's a little bit of a border from where the stitching ends and you want to keep maintain that on, the, on your stitching across the tongue uh, simply because it's just going to allow for like I said to avoid any kind of fraying on the edges of the tongue which is what you don't want. Um, the second thing that you're going to do is mark out exactly where you're going to be cutting the tongue. Like I said, don't cut the tongue, just mark where you're going to be cutting it so you know where to stitch. Um, the way that you're going to do this, you can see that there's these two indents on both sides of the tongue. And if you actually throw the tongue back into the shoe, you can see that these are the two indents where the flap actually start. So where you would want that flap to be gone, that's where you want to mark the two mark your line across. Um, you can see that I've kind of made my mark in a white pencil here and it's just below this basically this little stitched on panel they have here. Um, so just mark that. You want to put it on a slight curve just so it's going to be ever so slightly longer than the very last lace hole on the shoe. You can see that it passes there and uh, you're not going to the tongue's not going to be too short if you do cut it right at that spot. All right, I have the sewing machine set up here. I'm about to sew the tongue across. Um, just one quick note on the actual string itself. It's better to use a darker color simply because it's going to blend in a little bit better with the shoe and look more professional, but you can use whatever color you would like. As far as the sewing machine is concerned, you can either do this with a sewing machine or by hand. Um, obviously, if you're going to use a sewing machine, I recommend getting somebody who actually knows what they're doing. This is not me sewing this particular tongue, uh, simply because I have no idea how to use a sewing machine, which I'm sure most of you don't. So like I said, if you have somebody who knows what they're doing, I re would recommend getting them to do it um, rather than trying to do it yourself. Um, as you can see, she's doing a double stitch, so she went across the first time and has turned the shoe around and going back the other way, just so you have a 
uh, tighter, more secure stitch on the shoe. Like I said, you could do this by hand, but at the same time, if you don't know how to do any kind of stitching, if you've never done it before, I recommend trying to get somebody who knows what they're doing to do it for you. It'll only take a second. Once you finish stitching it, you're going to be left with a couple of strings uh, loose. Just tie them in a knot a couple times so it's not going to come off. And as you guys can see, uh, one shoe is already done. And it's very, very simple to do. And I'll show you how to cut the tongue right now. Alright, now that we've stitched across the tongue, you guys can see the stitch right here. It's really well done. Uh, this is a double stitch, like I said. I recommend doing the double stitch. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. You can do less. You can do a couple more stitches if you wanted to. And you can see that there's actually a stitch on the inside here, all the way across. So right above that. Um, little sizing chart here, but very nicely done. You can see it's really good quality and you're not going to have to worry about it kind of coming apart on you. Um, so the next thing you want to do is get a pair of scissors and don't grab a cheap pair of scissors. Don't use some like little kids arts and craft scissors. Grab some pretty heavy duty scissors that you're confident is going to give you a clean straight cut on the edges of the leather because you don't want to be like forcing the cut through because you're going to end up having a really jagged edge. And it's just not, it's not necessarily going to wreck your shoe, but it's just not going to look good and it's not going to be finished with as much quality as you could have if you used a little bit better scissors. Um, but you can see that I have that white line mark there and I want to cut it on the top of that white line so as high up as I can possibly go while still removing this big flap. I'm going to do that for you on camera right here. Hopefully I don't screw up and you just want to make sure, try and get the smoothest cut possible. Um, it's going to be a little bit tough. The leather is soft, but it's still pretty thick. And you notice how I'm maintaining a pretty good um, uh, kind of space between the edge of the tongue and where the actual stitch is. And that's for a reason. You want that stitching to actually serve a purpose and avoid, keep the tongue from stitching, uh, kind of fraying. Uh, kind of remove that little flap there. And that's pretty much it. That's a rough cut. Obviously, you can go back and touch it up. But that's pretty much it, guys. You have that final uh, product here. I'll throw the lasers in and show you guys how it looks. Um, with the laces but that's pretty much it you have pretty much modified your copas you can see that you have a little bit of extra new fresh material here it's going to rub off it'll kind of look stock once you wear them a little bit but that's pretty much it it's a very very simple mod and uh, i hope that was uh, well explained for you guys well there you go guys that's kind of my mini tutorial on modifying the tongue of your copas as you guys can see i have a pair of mundial teams and a pair of copa mundials both modified um, it looks a little bit sleeker and again it gets that little flap out of the way that a lot of people are really annoyed by and really keeps them from buying a pair of Copa Mundials. But if you wanted that more sleeker, um, a little bit less bulk to the shoe, um, removing that flap is very, very simple as you guys can see. Um, again, just keep in mind doing this particular mod will void your warranty on your shoes. So just keep that in mind if you are um, worried about having that warranty. This is something that you don't want to do. You don't want to modify to any shoe because as soon as you modify any shoe on the market, you are voiding your warranty with either that particular company or the retailer that you purchased the shoes from. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, guys, if you could leave a like on the video, I really do appreciate it. It really does help me out. And if you have any other clarification questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will definitely answer that for you. Other than that, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.